Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about the dashboard module in .NET NUC. So here I have the brand new DNN 550 installed, just uh, came out of the oven so it's still very very hot. Uh, and I, I have just installed it. So let's log into the back end and have a look at uh, what the dashboard dashboard module is all about. So let's log into the back end. We have to log in as host. And once we log into the back end, let's just collapse the control panel at the top to give us more space. Let's go to the host menu and then to the dashboard menu. Now, the dashboard basically provides a bunch of information about the site and the server and it's a module that uh, has started to to show up from DNN 4.9, just about DNN 4.9. So here we basically can find a bunch of information about the servers, the database, the site as well. So let's, let's go uh, area by area, section by section. The first section is called web server. This information is very useful for someone that is doing support and maintenance in the website. So basically you can see the, uh, the operating system version, the .NET version, the ASP.NET uh, pool, the name of the server, the physical path for the site, and the site URL as well. So this is about the web server. Now we also have the section called database server. Here it's basically giving information about the database, the version of the database, if there is any service pack installed, the addition of the database, the software platform. Then if, if there are backup uh, already done for this database, it will also show a history down here. There's none right now. The site I have just installed it. This is my local environment. And it also shows the database file size. Sorry, the database files. So you can also have a look at the files that the database are using. Now, it, this is this is very useful information. If by any chance your site is running very slow, you may want to check the database server settings. Sorry, database server uh, dashboard and see what is the size of your database and what is the size of your database log. If those numbers are very big, and by very big I mean if a uh, database log is going for over 40 megabytes and database size not so much but have a look at the database log and see if this is too big maybe you want to touch base with your hosting provider and see if they can uh, do a cleanup of your database to make sure that things are running smoothly so this is a very good reference point for you as a site owner or anybody that is doing uh, maintenance uh, and support on your website. So this is about the database server. Now let's go to the host. It basically shows uh, what is the version of the, the of .NET Nuke that you are using. This is the version, and it also shows a bunch of uh, of provider settings that uh, that you are using in your website. This information is is usually stored is stored in the web.config, but in this case you can have a an interface to check this information. Very useful. It also shows if you are using friendly URLs, what is a provider. Now let's have a look at uh, portals. Basically on the portals, you can see all the different portals of your .NET site. In our case here, we just have one portal, which is called My Website. It also gives you the number of pages. Just keep in mind that this number of pages here is also considering the admin pages, admin and host pages. So even though this is a brand new installation, it has already 21 pages because it considers home page plus admin pages plus hosting pages. It also shows the number of roles in this portal and the number of users registered under this portal. So very useful information, very useful information to, to maintain and administer the website. So let's have a look at uh, the modules section. Basically, under modules, you can see all the different modules installed on your .NET website, the version of that module, if it's available, and how many instances, how many times that module has been used throughout the site. This is key information, and the reason is very simple. If uh, To avoid uh, having too many 
unused modules throughout the website, you may want to check how many instances that module has been used in the website. And if it's zero, you might just as well remove that uh, that module from the website for performance, uh, basically to improve performance. So again, if it's not being used at all, why keep it there? Now, just keep one thing in mind. Don't go crazy deleting all the modules that are that has uh, zero instances. The other day, I have deleted uh, some modules that uh, that had zero instances, but they were used by other modules. So just be careful that you're not deleting a module that is used behind the scenes by another module, even though it's showing that it's zero, it might be used by a different module. Not very common and maybe not best practice when the, the vendor does that for one of their modules, but that can happen. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, number of instances, number of times that that module is installed in the website. So very good information. Now let's have a look at uh, skins. Now under skins, very good information as well. Basically, it will list the different skins, skin packages installed on the website, and it will say if that package is in use or not. So it will have a true or false, depending if it's in use or not. If a skin package is not in use, you may want to uninstall that. You may want to delete that skin folder again. Uh, most likely it will not impact much about performance, but it's less files, it's less stuff in your .NET Hook website. Now, I'm sure that the dashboard will grow over time, so it's. I think that this is, is still the very uh, one of the very first uh, versions of, of the dashboard, so I'm sure that this will grow over time to include more information like containers, like uh, the size of log of, of of the events log, some other information about the website as well. So again, very good start, and I'm sure that they will keep improving and implementing more, more information under the dashboards. So basically, this is it for now. Thank you very much. Bye.